calculate the formal charge on each atom in the following Lewis formulas. So we have two molecules here, thionyl chloride and nitrous acid. So the formula to calculate formal charge is the number of valence electrons normally on an atom minus the number of electrons that are currently on the atom in the particular molecule. And to calculate the number of electrons on the atom, we take half of the shared electrons, or half of the bonded electrons, and add to it the number of unshared electrons. So to begin, we'll find the number of valence electrons in each of the atoms in thionyl chloride. So we have oxygen, sulfur, and two chlorine atoms that are identical. So to find the number of valence electrons, we look at the periodic table, identify the group that the atoms are in, and find the number of valence electrons they have. Starting with group one, these have one valence electron, two, over to group 13, these have three, then four, five, six, seven, and eight valence electrons, or a full outer shell for group 18. So looking back, we want oxygen, sulfur, and chlorine. Oxygen is in group 16, so it has six valence electrons. Sulfur is also in this group and has six valence electrons. Then chlorine has seven. So we'll write that down. Six, six, and seven. And so this first column is the number of valence electrons, and we'll make a second column with the number of electrons currently on the atom. So oxygen has two shared electrons, in the bond with sulfur, so one half times two, plus six unshared electrons. For sulfur, sulfur has three bonds, and so it has six shared electrons, so one half times six, plus the number of unshared electrons is two. And chlorine, each chlorine, has one bond with sulfur, and six unpaired, unshared electrons. So the number of electrons on oxygen is seven. For sulfur, it's five. And for chlorine, it's also seven. So the formal charge for each of these atoms is this first column minus the second column. So for oxygen, it's minus one or negative one. Sulfur, six minus five is positive one. And for chlorine, it's zero. And so let's add these formal charges to the Lewis formula. So we'll put a minus sign near the oxygen and a plus sign near the sulfur to indicate their formal charges. Now nitrous acid. We have hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and another oxygen. And we write oxygen atom twice because they're not identical. So we'll do the same thing again and have valence electrons, and then electrons on the atom, and then we'll calculate their formal charge. For hydrogen, looking at our periodic table, we know it has one valence electron. Oxygen, we know, has six. And nitrogen is in group 15 and has five valence electrons. The electrons on the atom Hydrogen has two shared electrons plus zero unshared electrons. This first oxygen has four shared electrons plus four unshared electrons. Nitrogen is connected to uh, the first oxygen with a single bond, and connected to the second oxygen with a double bond. So it has one half times six shared electrons plus two unshared electrons. And the oxygen on the end has four shared electrons and four unshared electrons. So the electrons on each atom for hydrogen is one, oxygen, six, Nitrogen, 5, and the end oxygen is 6. So valence number of electrons minus the number of electrons currently on the atom 
Formal charge on hydrogen is zero. Oxygen, zero. Nitrogen, zero. And oxygen, zero. Each atom in the molecule has zero formal charge. Compare that to thionyl chloride, where oxygen has a negative formal charge, and sulfur has a positive formal charge. Both thionyl chloride and nitrous acid are neutral molecules, so the sum of the formal charges must equal zero, because they're neutral. In thionyl chloride, we have one minus and one plus, getting us our neutral charge for the molecule. And in nitrous acid, all of the atoms, when we compare the number of valence electrons of each atom in the neutral state as a free atom, and when we compare the number of electrons in the bonded state in the molecule of nitrous acid, we find that they're identical. Thus, each atom has zero formal charge, and the sum of these formal charges equals zero, because nitrous acid is a neutral molecule.